they've already got like four at the intersection. How many phone booths do they really need? like that before. They're just like in those retro videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaraki. Wait, okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? Crazy! How do they even talk to each other? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, oh my god. We really are in the 80s. I can't believe that hair. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. What even is that? A pompadour? The show air is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? <sighs> Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little... Well... She has difficulty with social interaction. Hey! Don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please, carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. <sighs> Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes my day. Stop causing problems. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it? It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. Kisaragi-kun, I understand your situation, but I need you to cooperate. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like, how old am I, technically? Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained this already. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. Facilitators. So, about those facilitators. You mean Shikishima? The military corporation? All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. You sure we're not being used? That is not your concern. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. They've got tons of factories across the world. I 
never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool, got it. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't gonna let me. What I need is a little leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. Until further notice, here are your orders. Do not act on your own. Remain inconspicuous. And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? So everything back home's been destroyed? Yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. I gotta get leverage and go back to my own time. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like... Shikishima Industries. is a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now, they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Chan, did you check out all those books? What are they? Hey, do you mind if I take a look? They're not that interesting. I just want to peek. Let's see. Business quarterly? Corporate guides. Economic reports. This is impressive, Usami-chan. Are you studying for a career in business? Uh, not really. I was kind of looking for some leverage. You know, dirt on some big shady corporation. So then I could, like, control them a little. Huh? Sami-chan, that's a little... weirder than I was expecting. I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh, uh, like, you know, net profits, big business talk, <laughs> or something. I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? Sounds good. Those crepes from yesterday are gonna be hard to beat, though. Back home, they went a little too crazy with the toppings. Sometimes simple is best. Check her out. How does one person sleep that much? I scoured the whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but... It's just like... stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Hmm, good point. Crepes would be nice too. Do you think we could... get both? Uh... Hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but there's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima. They're the ones who make ships and things, right? Hmm. I have this old friend. His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. Yes. Those big megacorps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. 
One step closer to getting the dirt. So in 2025, I would have turned... You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No. Did they just ditch? Oh, don't worry, he'll be here soon. He's not the type to break promises. What's up? I'm here. It's that Pompadour guy! Hold on. What's he doing here? This is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that would be her, Usami-chan. Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. Real dog face, aren't you? The heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. Okay, hold on. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. Why'd it have to be you? The feeling's mutual, man. Please, can we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What was... I just saw them. Usami-chan! Usami-chan! Oh. oh, good. You weren't waking up. I thought you might have died. What just happened? I don't know. There was some kind of flash, and then we were here. Damn it. Still alive over there, Captain Pompadour? My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please, we can't be fighting right now. <sighs> what happened to all these buildings? It's like... We were attacked. <gasps> Do you know something? I know the city got leveled. You saw that flash, right? Must have been a nuke. Uh, a nuclear bomb? You realize we were at school just now. Isn't this downtown? Way I figure it. The blast must have knocked us all the way over here. Okay, never mind. You're just a moron. Hey! You're like a big greasy roach. I bet you could survive a nuke no problem. <sighs> you got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? Oh. If we're here, then... No way. Nuke 
nuclear war, then that means... There's radiation everywhere! We're going to die! We have to run, or get cover, or... Deep breaths, Miwako. I'll try. The world got destroyed in my time. According to what Goto said, anyway. So maybe... This is... Keakicho. Huh? Oh, you're right! Look at that sign! It must be near the shopping district. The hell? You know how far that is from school? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else is here. Think they all evacuated? Then where... Where's everyone else? Miwako... Dad... Mom... Everything messed up like this, but I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. Shinonome-kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. 
Mr. Ida, I want... The investigation unit is watching us. As it stands, we are already an unofficial organization. It is not wise for us to stand out any more than we already do. I have told you this before. I will contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Wait, Mr. Ida. Well, I just... Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious, and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonome-kun. It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. Without you, we won't be able to overcome this danger. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida... Is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city... It is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko-senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Eikun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai... That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait! I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko-senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Area B2, Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7, 23 remain in the seventh wave. has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonome-kun, hold back. No, I can still do this. Number 17, assist number 14. Number 17. No 
response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sakigahara either. The system's being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara Khan? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. to the very end. All so we could escape. <sighs> this must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. <gasps> Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. I'm taking you in. And if I don't come willingly? If you want to resist, feel free. 
just gives me a reason to put a bullet in your head. What to do? There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious! I'll do it! Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you.
gotta do it. to overload enemy internals. But that requires a massive amount of energy. If you overuse it without any cooldown, you'll find yourself out of power fast. Can't mess this up.
up. Number 13, try to too slow. I have to focus. through it. 